everything set up. Uh, staples, it punches, it duplexes, and everything. So that's all. Everything checks out. Everything's backed up to each other. All the alignment should be good. Um, as for the paper path of the machine, colors look good. Nice. Um, paper path machine come all the way over here. Uh, basically, everything comes out of the drawer, goes up the side of the machine, across and out. Okay, so just like a big reverse C. Mm -hmm. okay. There is a, um, a door over here, one lever. Uh, if the paper's not in the drawer, it's going to be in this area. Uh, anything that's green, you can open up and look behind. So we can even scoot it down some because this is a good little jam. Yeah. If it jams, this is the part we're going to be opening the most, probably. <laughs> Correct. Uh, yeah, this is the, the main part, and this isn't too bad. I mean, this is 90% of customers are going to can. <laughs> they got it up against the wall here. This isn't actually too bad. Um, yeah, so if it comes up the side, anything is green, open up and look behind. Try to keep it going that same direction. The reason I always stress that direction is that when you pull paper against it, then it's going to catch on the sensor and tear, and I got to come out with my expensive tweezers and remove a piece of paper. So. All right. Uh, Close is real easy, no big deal. There's another door here right at the top. That's the duplex door. This is where the paper go back down and then back up through the processor again. Mm -hmm. um, just one little handle here at the top. After it leaves there, it's going to go into the finisher. Into the finisher. Uh, the finisher looks a little complicated. It's got a lot of knobs and everything. Uh, you know, the machine will tell you. You know, check FN1, FN2, FN4, uh, okay, and so on. Um, bunch of traps are down here. Mm -hmm. And if it's if it's an early jam here, you know, slide the machine away so you can access you know, access the paper through here um, and get everything pulled out. The access door on top also. You can turn the knobs. Try to turn this in the direction they have like this one here counterclockwise. This one's counterclockwise. This one here can go either way just to get the paper to one of the doors where you need to pull it out. Um, when staples come due uh, to replace the staples, which will be a while. There's like 2,500 I think in the staple cartridge. So a little while but when they come due mm -hmm. it, sh it should bring it to the front but if it doesn't you have to turn this wheel about 20 times uh, to bring the stapler to the front okay. um, and once it's here it really the cartridge just pulls straight out is it i don't think the whole thing gets thrown away i think just this plastic part up top is thrown away that's it no, why not? so we take the new one slide it in it's down that's all there is to it Closes real easy, slides back. So then it'll roll back where it needs to go. Yeah, it'll go back to its home position. Uh, the trays, you know, there's steel and everything in the trays, but if we were to load this all the way to the top and we got people slamming it, what ends up happening is it ends up that way that paper just keeps hitting on this rear guide, and it'll actually slide that rear guide back to the point where it looks something like that. Uh, and then the paper will start coming out skewed because it's got so much play in there. So uh, just remember, just you know, close up the drawers easy. Uh, they don't, they don't need to be slammed. Uh, that's yeah. all it takes to, to get the drawer closed. Because uh, the way that paper will just keep on constantly just pushing that guide back a little bit, that little bit. Uh, blue lever in front, nice and, nice and simple. This one here, you have to kind of squeeze at the bottom. So all four trays are hooked up there. All four trays are operational and all lined up. Uh, up to ledger, yep. When it comes time for toners, uh, which will be a while, uh, there's four toner fractures, one for each color. And the, basically in the box will be this cartridge here. Uh, you basically just take this old one, it's just a container, it's not a cartridge or anything, it can be recycled, it's just a, a container, a plastic container is all it is. Mm -hmm. So it just can get uh, thrown away or whatever and give it to everybody just next door again. Um, you know, want to take it out of the box. Slide it in, and that's all you have to do. No, no pulling tabs or anything like that. Nice okay. and simple. What are those extra down below? This here's the the toners. There's the toner numbers, and these are the imaging units. These where the the, the image actually gets uh, actually produces the image on there, a latent image on there, and develops it onto a transfer belt. Um, so that's where that's where all the magic happens. Um, you don't have to worry about this part of it. Just basically from here up. The waste nice. toner bottle. Uh, I'll get you another one, but in the meantime, don't worry about it. This one has got a ton of volume to it. It'll, it'll be there a while. Uh, and then uh, once it gets full, uh, it's got a couple different ways of measuring it. Once it gets completely full, it will uh, let you know. Um, but what I'll do is I'll try to have one here for you. So you have that on hand, or I'll just keep emptying this one out every time I come out. But yeah, that, that, that's got a ways to go. That's good, probably 30,000 or 40,000 clips there before that gets full. 
if there is a line on the copies and it goes all the way from you know one edge to the other and that's a yellow line or a magenta line or something like that, mm -hmm. um, I might tell you, hey, can you open up the front door and those little knobs down there, if it's a red or yellow or a magenta line, can you take that blue knob there and just run it back and forth a couple times and that might that should get rid of it. Uh, where if it's a, a white void, then that, it might not work. But if it's a, a yellow on top of something or a magenta line on top of something that goes all the way to the edges of the page, it could just be it just needs to be, to be clean. There's a little wire in there that that cleans. Okay. And there's your new number for this machine. With that, they'll know what kind of toners that it takes. If you get toners and they don't match up with this, then it means you only sent you the wrong ones. Um, but they're uh, pretty good about it. They should know with that number what the style of machine and toner you mm -hmm. send with it. What is this the gadget? That is for the document mm -hmm. feeder. There's a little slip glass here. So mm -hmm. the paper doesn't go onto the glass and then all the way around anymore. Basically, it's just going to go right over this slip glass here. Okay. And what will happen is white out will come off in there, toner, post to note glue, uh, and it'll it'll create a dirty spot on here. So you know, once that dirty spot's there and you, and you try to make it copy, it's kind of like a pen upside down. It's just that dirty spot's there and it just writes all the way across. Um, so what do is just take this here and just you know, clean this back and forth a couple of times. Sometimes you even have to take your thumbnail or whatever and scrape it off. Uh, they just put this here just to... Just to it's, so you're not trying to use a paper towel or spraying Windex on it or whatever. Yeah. The only thing you need to be careful is there's a device in there that, that cleans this glass and it will move this glass back and forth and try to clean off any paper dust. So just make sure that that doesn't get moved. If it gets moved out of position, it'll throw an error code or something. Mm -hmm. um, document feeder. A lot different than your other one. Uh, basically, just take the paper, run it over this little glass and dump it out. Uh, sometimes it'll, it'll jump up into this void area and then spit it out to turn the paper over the right, right direction. Uh, but you should be able to access everything from here. And there's really not much many places to paper can hide in here. Uh, there's a small flap here mm -hmm. where it could be, and then just to help advance the paper whichever way. Mm -hmm. Uh, this here, if there's any glare on it, can be you know, moved down, all the way up, and to the left and right. Uh, they put this the LED light out here. Uh, when it's blue or things great, you know, there's information coming over. If it's orange or whatever, it means there's something going on, like it's out of paper. Uh, there's more indicators over here. I'll let you know what are. And each door has an indicator also. When it goes, when it gets to orange, it means that the tray is empty. Oh. So even though those, those other trays are empty now, it's just... Uh, no, they're not. They have a little bit of paper in them. Oh, okay. Because I did test all the trays, so there's just a, a little bit of paper in each one. And then we'll auto sense the type of paper. The size, we'll... yeah. Uh, the weight and type, you no, know, you have to let it know uh, what weight of paper you put in there. But it will, uh, it will automatically adjust to the size. Yeah, I'm sure those guys are Yeah, um, everything's been good in me so far. Nothing yeah. would. Um, yeah, really not much you, you can do. Now. You just send the information over. Uh, if you're making copies off the glass, uh, this quality and density button up here, make sure you just tell the machine what you're making a copy of. Is it a text photo? Is it just text? Is it a, is it a photograph? Is the photograph on, 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 on photo paper, which is real glossy, or a printed paper like a magazine? Uh, the more information you tell the machine, the better your image is going to be recreated. Uh, you know, a map so it you know, gets all the fine lines. Uh, dot matrix, you know, the old dot matrix stuff, you know, when you're looking for me with dots and you shine all that light at it, it can't even hardly even recognize those letters, so it kind of kind of helps out. Face up. Face up. Big blue button. I want to make two copies. Okay. Quiet. Uh, I just let you know there's a job in process right now. And as soon as it's done, it should go up. And. Voila. Voila.